having impact with your work is really the the goal, right, for everyone, regardless of industry. Like actually delivering value for your customers and delivering value um, for your business. However, far too many businesses, a shocking number of businesses, in fact, um, focus far too much on efficiency, i.e. like getting, getting a lot of stuff done, over having impact, i.e. actually delivering value for your customer and ultimately for your business. And regardless of whether, you know, you work, let's say you work in product, you, you say you follow agile practices, you know, we're, we adapt, we change, we always listen to the user. A lot of people say they do that, but they actually end up focusing on efficiency um, as a default for reasons I've, I'll go into in a separate topic. Anyway, suffice to say, what, what we want to do today is introduce you to one simple trick that you can introduce within your team. Again, regardless of industry here, actually, not just for, for sort of digital product development, but we'll introduce one simple trick that you can apply um, to your process of, of getting stuff done, right? To again, lift you up from just being efficient to actually having impact. So why is it important to have impact? Seems obvious, but actually our behavior does not align with that, like obviously the logic behind it, right? Because as I said, far too many teams focus on, you know, being in the office 10 hours a day, like looking busy, you know, like um, that, what do we call it, presenteeism, I think is the word, um, rather than actually having impact. And that is a problem because nobody really, I mean, to the end user or customer is the only way, sorry, delivering value for the end um, user or customer is the only way to build a business. Why? Because if we are not delivering enough value to them, then we're not able to make money from them and we're not able to build a sustainable business, right? And unfortunately, it's annoying, but unfortunately the customer does not give a shit how long you sat in your chair yesterday or how many frustrating meetings you have to deal with, you know, how much of a dick your boss was the other day. Like they don't know these things and they don't actually care even if they did know them. So, you may feel like, you know, yeah, you're there 10 hours a day and that's great, but it's simply not good enough to think like that. Because as I said, the customer doesn't know, nor do they care how much like time and effort you put into stuff. All they care about is, is this product like delivering value for me? Is it solving a problem for me? Is it good enough that I'm willing to actually pay for it? Right, so it seems obvious, but again, our the, the logic of like, well, of course we need to deliver value to users is betrayed by our actions where we get too easily sucked into, um, you know, team culture of let's look busy, um, let's, you know, sit checking emails for 10 hours a day and really doing F all. Um, so how can we, with one simple trick, um, lift our behavior up to really start focusing on impact over efficiency. Um, I go into this in detail in my books if you're interested in really, you know, changing your your, your own process, your team's process, um, and applying like a lean startup model, then go read the book. But for today, as I said, one simple trick that we can do, I will show you in just a second. So welcome to um, the simple Kanban board. So essentially a, a complex way of saying a to-do list. So what we have here, right, is traditionally every company in some form, this will obviously depend, um, the complexity will vary depending on, on your team, but generally every team, uh, well, most teams focus on a backlog, like things we want to get done, work in progress, things we are currently working on, and a done column, right, things we have done. Almost all teams work like this, right? So they they um, you know plan stuff, they work on it, they get it done, and they go cool. We are going to measure our output in terms of how many tasks we got done, right? Again, efficiency. If we got the five features we planned this week done, great. Pat on the back. Let's go for a beer on a Friday. We did an awesome job this week. As I said, unfortunately, your customers do not care how many things you build. They only care about the value you deliver. So what we can do to change that is 
to add a fourth column, right? Or some, you know, again, if you don't use a sort of traditional Kanban board like this, um, you, can, you can work a way in, right? But essentially what we're saying is that something is not done until it is validated. What does that mean? That means that rather than simply patting ourselves on the back, blowing us out of relief when the, the actual like you know coding or development is done, we force ourselves to ask the uncomfortable question of what was the outcome of that work? So if we're building a new feature, like a, a profile page for an app, rather than again, just getting it done, we need to say, well, what was the outcome of that? Like, you know, how, how did it impact the user? Did it get us? Did the user, did it mean that the user uses the app more? Does it mean that more users paid for the app because we built that? So by adding this column, some way of, of looking at validation of our work, right, of, of our outcome, we force ourselves to start having that uncomfortable conversation and start really reflecting on whether, you know, is all this stuff we're doing, right, does it have impact? And again, this is a, an integral part of like Agile and Lean theory, but very few companies actually do it because they're busy and they're stressed and they're rushing to just get this huge list of stuff done. So when it gets to done, they conveniently forget the work to simply stop, reflect, and learn from the work they have done. So I'm just checking it's still recording. <laughs> um, however, obviously, if we are trying to validate an outcome, we need to know what the desired outcome was. So part of this simple shift to focusing on impact over efficiency is redefining the nature of our work. So usually we talk about, you know, a, a task, right? We have this thing to do, a, you know, a feature. We need to build the profile page. Again, what that does is reinforces this culture of efficiency because we think, okay, profile page, get it built, done. That's the mindset. What we are now trying to do is validate an assumption behind why we built something and whether that assumption was true. And what that requires is really just changing the description of the task and treating it as an experiment, right? So rather than saying, let's look at this example, you know, let's build a referral offer. We simply say, the here is our assumption. You know, we believe that by building a referral offer, we will increase the number of paying users by 10%. You know, so let's say subscribers in, in the case of my, my product at the moment. Um, and again, what that does is mean that as this experiment moves through our Kanban and gets to invalidation, when it's launched, we, we can look into, you know, did this, did this work? Did this increase paying users by 10%? If so, great. That means we sort of, we validated this idea. If not, why not? And we go in, we delve in and, and learn about that, right? Now, obviously, and again, this is why I say, just go and read the book. It, this requires um, you know, us to, to be able to know this, right? How, how did it increase by 10%? So we need somebody taking responsibility for the analytics with your product. We need um, analytics built into every experiment we do so that we can track it. But as I said, what we're trying to do here is just put to, to really plant a seed that is going to start pushing you to have these uncomfortable conversations. Again, around not just getting lots of stuff done, the customer does not give a shit, but around what was the outcome for that customer and ultimately for our business. Right? So as I said, simple addition of invalidation column. We change from tasks to assumption-based experiments with a clear hypothesis. And what we do there is start engendering behavior to, to move us away from this absurd model of getting lots of stuff done, being efficient, checking emails all day, to actually having impact, right? Focusing on the, you know, the few things that are really gonna shift the needle and really get us to, to whatever our, our goal is, such as 1,000 paying customers.